Well, we needed some stops. You know, um, we've been pretty good if we uh, hold opponents under 100 points, and they were well on their way to score way over. I mean, they, it was a little too easy there at times. They got some some rolls. They got some pull-ups in the pocket. They made some threes behind screens, and, and they had it going. And then uh, finally there. In the fourth, we, we picked it up a little bit. We got into them a little more, uh, made them miss a couple times. And offensively, I thought, uh, you know, that lineup was really working. Yogi made some big threes. Devin made some threes. You know, JJ driving and, and kicking and um, finding some uh, some of our shooters. So that was that was a big stretch to give us the lead. And then uh, basically our starters came back in and, uh, and finished the game. Harrison had talked about you guys been in that position before and, and things hadn't gone your way tonight. You guys were able to keep your poise and things. How big of a sign of growth is that for you? Well, you know, that we knew they were on the back-to-back. -back. You know, that, that always helps. Uh, we talked about keeping the pressure up, especially at halftime. Uh, you know, keep getting to their guards. Hopefully they'll they get tired a little bit and uh, miss some of those threes that they were making. I mean, they... they Kept stepping in the shots. Temple was fantastic off the bench. That bench, that bench was great there in the first half. And, uh, I just thought we you know, kind of kept plugging, kept pushing. Uh, and finally, they missed some of those shots, and, and that's when we made our run. How much did you guys miss JJ's playmaking with that second game? Yeah, I mean he's he's great. Obviously, he doesn't have a great offensive rhythm, but he's just you know he's got to be one of the smartest pick and roll players this league has. You know, uh, if you go under, he usually shoots. If you go over. He kind of puts his, his defender in, in jail and kind of, you know, plays plays cat and mouse with the big. Um, Dwight did a great job rolling today, and obviously a presence at the rim. Um, and he kept finding what he's great at, you know, it's just kind of looking away and then still finding the role. And, 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 you know, the weak side spreading out to the shooters because that's where he's looking, and he's still hitting the big for a role. And uh, he's uh, he's fantastic at it. He's just uh, he's an important player for us off the bench, and uh, we're glad he's back. What were your impressions about Aaron Fox tonight? I like him. I like him a lot. Obviously, it's not the first time I watched him. Uh, super, super athlete, super fast, pushing the ball. I think uh, he looks a lot more comfortable. We saw them early in the year. I think it was game two or three or something. Uh, but he looks a lot more comfortable. Uh, his shot looks smooth now. He's, he's got that, you know, that pull up in, in the pocket already, which is a tough shot um, for, for a guard to learn. And, I mean, the sky's the limit for him. He's going to keep adding his, to his range. Uh, he's long, he's athletic, he can be a good defender in this league. Um, I think he's going to have a great future in this league.